Hi, my name is Katherine Redmond and I'm going to be speaking with you today about docking and undocking boats. In this video clip taken from seven steps to successful boat docking for twin engines, that particular DVD, we're going to look at the effect of leeway on bringing a vessel into a slip bow in, which also for that matter applies for the leeway that occurs when you bring your boat stern in. As you can see from this video clip, I'm pretty close to the vessel next to me. That is because I know that my vessel is going to slide sideways toward the pier, which is what leeway will do. So as you watch me come in, I'm making no manual manipulations here. The vessel is just moving sideways as it will when you make your turn into the slip. Now we're going to examine what happens when we don't take leeway into consideration. In the smaller clip on the right hand bottom of your screen, you'll see my initial approach close to the other vessel. On the other hand, in the larger part of your screen, you'll see what happens when I do not allow for leeway, come in close to the finger pier, and then leeway pushes my stern and the rest of my vessel sideways so that instead of having a smooth landing, I have a rough landing. So when you're coming into your slip, you want to make sure that you are allowing for leeway, the sideways movements of your vessel. 